And the last three opponents, you stopped in either the fifth or the sixth round, and he's shown good conditioning to that point. Can Peter Kramer take him a little bit further? He has certainly got enough about him to keep Bostan interested, and that is important for a young man like him. Darren, I know you identify a little bit of the younger version of yourself in Janae Bostan. He's got a taskmaster like you had in Tony Sims in Grant Smith in his gym. Bundles of talent, but needs somebody in there that he feels is presenting a little bit of danger, but he has started fast. Yeah, he does, and Kramer does look to fire back. Under pressure, usually doesn't look up to there. But yeah, Janae, an exceptional talent, lives and breathes it, works so hard, does what he's told in the gym, always looking to, to improve, listening, learning, and that's what's important, is that the confidence that he uses every time he gets into the ring is impressive. Stiff jab, and well, Kramer already knows he's in with somebody with real talent, he looks hesitant and he's having to cover up tight because of the counters and the speed of them and a right hand crash over his jab there. But Bostad already got him pinned to the ropes and he's starting to go through the gears. Eddie Hearn has taken his seat room side. He's been so impressed with this young man since his debut just a few months ago. Sonny Edwards in his corner alongside Grant Smith, the IVF World Flyweight Champion. Now we're here supporting Dalton Smith a little bit later on as well. And Sonny Edwards said, the most talented fighter I've ever trained alongside in a gym. And that is saying something. That was a lovely right hand over the jab of Kramer from Boston. 20 years old, he's still maturing. He's only going to get stronger. But it's that confidence. Look at him standing in front of Kramer. Total disregard for, for what Peter Kramer's doing. Just switching to Southport, doesn't have to throw a shot. Back behind the jab. Impressive stuff from Janae. He's trying to draw out the lead from Kramer here. That's when the feint comes into play. As you can see the difference in hand speed already. Well, no sooner did Grant Smith ask in his corner for the body and he obliged. He's listening, he's boxing to a plan, and he's been totally dominant through these first three minutes. Kramer looks bamboozled at times in there. Oh, the stiff right hand, and his hands are in position. Kramer knocked him right back into the corner. Very, very impressive first round from today, Boston. Great round, um, you can see him throwing the jump to the body as well, he's just trying to set him off, chipping away at him, um, yeah, flawless round. Yeah, good entertaining stuff again from Janae. That's what we expected from him and what we've seen so far. And there it is, bread and butter there, just missing the jab straight back, swaying backwards and firing back with a accurate, sharp right hand. There's no power in that whatsoever. That's, you know, just speed and timing that's hurt Kramer there. Credit to the Hungarian, he survived. But look at the, the red in him over that left eye already. Well, he said at the, the press conference on Thursday, he said, I wasn't known as much of a, a puncher in, in the amateurs, but his timing, and his distance, and his speed, that he's really starting to put a dent in. Opponents very, very surprised if uh, Kramer's still standing in seven rounds. Time. Seconds out. Round two. Chin checks a couple of times by Athanasios Glinos, the Greek fighter from foot South Point he was in against last time. And uh, Darren, you called that fight. Uh, he, he took a, a few, was lined up well by the Greek fighter, but he, he took them very comfortably. Didn't look like he was fussed about getting hit. It's always good to see the first time that a young prospect is just chin checked, but uh, he hasn't taken very much so far at all. Someone like Bostam will look better when he's got opponents firing back very hard to look good against journeyman so he'll be glad that he's in there with guys with winning records looking to to get the scalp of Boston on their record because you can see that the speed and the reactions from Janae and the power already at only 20 is very impressive see him working the, the body finishing upstairs good variation again you've seen an uppercut straight right followed by the left hook 
trying to soften Kramer around the body. You can see the reddening around the left side of Kramer's rib cage. Hurtful shots. Big part of the problem here, Galau, is Kramer doesn't seem to know where the attacks are coming from or what to expect next. Yeah, definitely you see how fast uh, Janae's attacks are and, you know, you see him fainting as well. He's throwing the right hand around the body, around the side of the head. Um, yeah, he's looking good at the minute. And it's constant front foot pressure as well from Janae. Doesn't give his opponent a breather. Other than when look, he steps back here. Kramer trying to mount an attack. Back he comes on the front foot. Good variation again. Lovely right hand to the body. Talking to Kramer. Really good triple like he's left. Enjoying himself. And just chops that short right hand through. Left hooks him on the turn. A little smile back from Kramer there. And now he switches. And he does so seamlessly to Southport. He's so confident as well. Oh, lovely right hand, and again, good work. Still 40 seconds to go, it's time here. Kramer bravely firing back with the right hand, but he takes his feet well out of range. Well, you talk about confidence. Darren to be setting up lead right hands, pull counters, switching within the first two rounds. It says everything about how relaxed he is and how much he's enjoying the process so far. Lovely. Knuckles over on the right hand. Finish that combination. Kramer is so conscious of where the attacks are coming from. He's keeping that guard and the earmuffs on. You hear Grant Smith saying, expect him to chuck there. He was just tapping him with a couple of arm punches there, expecting the, the return to come. He did take the bait, Kramer, but another good round from Boston. You see every fight just getting more and more confident, Chris. More and more, more and more confident every fight. I know you spent plenty of time in there, Jim, sparring with Sonny Edwards. He, he rates you as among the best he's ever shared the ring with. He says there's potentially a collision course for you down the line. But you know how good the talent is in this gym, Dalton Smith alongside them uh, as, as well. It really does help to, to keep this young man on track and, and show him the work that is required if he's going to reach the level that I think he's got the potential to. Yeah, definitely. You know, Corners, there, Jim, ten seconds. Uh, numerous times in Janae's over there training, head down. Um, seconds. Out. But yeah, like you said, collision course, uh, gotta keep winning. Round three! Three to the third we go. Bostan in full control through the first two rounds. Peter Kramer baffled at times by the angles and the precision with which he's being caught. Even when he's got the hands up, Bostan just seems to find the, the gaps and, and pick him open. Great distance as well. Really relaxed long shots there, just turning through them at range. Jack in the jaw of, of Peter Kramer. And again, he just switches to Southport, starting to, to turn through those hooks up close. Swing and a miss from, from Kramer, being warned by the referee not to tie up the, uh, the free hand. Lovely rear left uppercut from Southport, again just switches seamlessly, you almost don't notice him switch, you just suddenly realise he's standing in the other stance. Yeah, I think he's just used to it, um, you know, a lot of the guys from Sheffield are all doing that switch hitting. Um, 
Yeah, you can see remind us, it. reminiscent, I guess, of the, the best worker Kid Galahad, of course, of Nassim Hamed, who yeah. he grew up idolising as, as a kid who knows all about him. Uh, see that ingrained in his style but what, what's been added to that is the brilliant fundamentals of, of Grant Smith we were at breakfast with him uh, Lee Eaton and, and his son Reggie who's uh, been taking up a bit of boxing and just watching Grant teach him a few things up close you realize the, the attention to detail just how passionate he is about this game and uh, well he's got a kind of three strike policy with his fighters if you don't turn up to a session you get a strike if you miss another one it's a serious conversation if you miss three you're, you're out no questions asked but in his entire career the Steel City Gym, France has only had, ever had one fight to leave involuntarily and he returned less than six months later. Huge passion and a, and a father figure to his fighters and he's bred a, a brilliant stable who are really starting to realise their talents across the weight division. We'll see one of his brightest stars, his own son in action, in our chief support later on as Bostan picking Peter Kramer apart as he steps forward, big smile on his face. And they touch gloves at the end of round three. And it right, just looks like he's got experience years beyond what he has. And it's good as well, he's getting good rounds, you know. Um, you don't need to knock out everyone, you know, two, three rounds. You want to get the rounds, you want to get experience. Um, and I'm sure we'll get that now. Well, one man that's got people talking in the 135 pound division is Ireland's Gary Cully. No doubt he'll be chewing Eddie Hearn's ear off for a spot on the Casey Taylor, Amanda Serrano, two undercard on May 20th. But tonight he has got business to attend to. The New Yorker, Alfredo Flores, unbeaten in 10. How much resistance can he provide? Another very adept switch hitter. This sharp, shooting, tall, heavy hand southpaw is really starting to peak under the guidance of the excellent Pete Taylor. That one will be round four. third from the top of the bill a little bit later on live on the zone. But right now, Janae Bostan in full control of Peter Kramer through four. This is the round that Josh Kelly stopped him in. Come back opponent after the Avenesian fight, of course, a little while ago. And like tonight, he took a lot of stick early and seemed to take it well and then just suddenly wilted. Great punishment. be some statement if Bostan could get it done in this round as well but he looks like he's in no rush he's enjoying himself he's just picking the shots that he needs to pick you just gotta keep chipping away chipping away um, slow him down so we can get him over that's really interesting you can actually hear you actually see him thinking about what Grant Smith was saying to him yeah. then he's talking to him about just adjusting his his range and you can actually see him just pause and, and make the adjustment there and it's not particularly noisy in here but it, it tells you he's laser focused in on the instructions he's getting in his corner oh, Grant's very vocal <laughs> very vocal yeah. lovely left hand to the body and then just sticks one straight down the middle really turning the knuckles over on those shots back to Kramer up again uppercut from Southport starting oh, to shot. really go through the gears here and now just switches to Orthodox and Kramer just feels like he's surrounded at the moment. Right hand just turns his chin. He's held firm under some heavy fire. Pretty rare to see a toolkit like this from, from one start, but the amount he's able to do from both Orthodox and Southport doesn't overuse the switch either. Everything's with a purpose. Using good angles as well. He's not staying in front of him. Brilliant oh, shots. Lovely right hand off the combination. Really sent Kramer back onto his heels and he smiled through his guard there. But I think he will really start to feel the accumulation of these. He's reddened and marked up on every part of his face so far and that is testament to kind of angles and precision brilliant oh, uppercut brilliant up up the cut there just lifted the head up and Janae Bostan really has made a point in this round Sonny Edwards a grin on his face because he just knows how good this young man is and he's enjoying watching what he's seeing We wish uh, his stable mate Nico Lavaz as he just takes the 
<laughs> one of the most noticeable punches that Crane has thrown in the contest. One of the only ones that's connected, just clips on the top of the head. Wish Nico Livales all the best. He was due to be on this portion of before the bell, but he got a sickness bug uh, overnight a couple of days ago and has had to, to pull out another very good young prospect, very well schooled too under Grant Smith's tutelage. And he'll be back, no doubt, in the coming weeks. In the full counter right hand from the orthodox stance there with the full counter left from Southport and the variety of his work when he's turning through those shots long, spiteful and that uppercut right hand there really rock Kramer back onto his heels and you know, he saw the, the grin of acknowledgement through the guard. <laughs> Round five. Josh Kelly, of course, putting the performance of uh, his career to date against Troy Williamson to become the British champion at 154 pounds. And in his comeback fight, he was in full control of Peter Kramer. And I argue that Bostan has made him look even worse tonight. And that is some statement for a novice prospect of 20 years of age. He is boxing absolute rings round him. Fully in the flow now, just fainting with the feet and the hands to offset the rhythm of Kramer, pot shotting him. He'll be doing all his can to, to stop him as well, you know, after Josh Keller stopped him and was it the fourth round? Kramer's we got to try and pile forward and, and push him off balance and, and try and out-muscle him up close, but very easier said than done. But standing at range as he is, he's just giving it to Bostan all his own way here. He just doesn't know what's coming and where it's coming from. His Bostan just picks him apart to the body again. Kramer looks weary as he eats another jab. Eddie Hearn is watching on ringside, no doubt, imagining the, the potential plans that could unfold for this young man in the future. They will no doubt be a, a stellar supporting cast for Dalton Smith on what is expected to be his rise through European and towards world level in the coming years. But I think the potential of this man, he could be sent to stage himself before too long. Lovely uppercut again from Southport with the rear hand, just fires the right hook off of it. Peter Kramer is trying to will himself forwards here, but he's walking into the fire doing so. He is, he's coming forward as well and he's just eating more. Um, I think Janae's good, he's good on the back foot. I don't thought at the minute. Um, he's on the back foot now. Very slight with the feet there, covering ground so quickly. Double left hook, body then head. Beautiful step around him off the, the two punch combination to create the angle and go again. Now just trying to bait him into something as Kramer comes forward again. That uppercut just shoveled into the body. And we've got some very good young prospects in the UK that haven't come through the Olympic podium squad. I've no doubt that our people will talk about you as one of the, the shining lights of fighters are to come in the next few years but guys like Bostan, Adam Azim, Hobie Price, Dennis McCann, Shiloh De Freitas all between 20 23 years of age showing such well-rounded professional skill sets already and we're lucky to watch a lot of boxing up close week in week out but you know when you're watching somebody very very special and without overhyping Janae Bostan he is very very special and speaking of special that's your brother back in action for the first time this year, Diego Alberto Ruiz, how's he been today? Yeah, he's been alright. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's not had um, 
the best time in the last few years, but uh, he'll be looking to get back to winning ways tonight and hopefully he can. Yeah. He knows he made a, a lot of mistakes in the Jason Cunningham fight for sure. He's looking to correct them. He's linked up with new trainer Jamie Moore, which I know has been a big shift for him, moving his life a little further up north. And I'm sure for you yeah. as well, it's been strange not having him around for, for long periods of time. But we'll see how that partnership goes live on the zone. 7 o'clock, Gamal Yafai against Diego Alberto Ruiz. 10 round of schedule at £122. And into round six of eight tier for Janae Bostan and Peter Kramer. Kramer's done the 10 round distance on plenty of occasions. I think six, in fact. And Bostan, this is the, the furthest that he would have gone if they complete these six rounds. And as you mentioned earlier, certainly not a bad thing for him to get some decent minutes in the back. 19 rounds as a professional so far with those four stoppages. And his conditioning look really, really good barely out of breath and he's been really putting his hands together too Just takes a little jab from Kramer on the turn there's no two ways about it though Janaid would love to get him out of there and he'd be trying his utmost best to but the rounds are good um, if he does eight rounds it is not too bad that's count to right hand again Kramer just tucks up tight. Kramer doing everything he can to try and offer some resistance here and fire back, but it's it's so dangerous when he does let his hands go and he's so wary of doing so. The speed at which the counters come back, he just can't see them. He chips away up close with Bostan. Was wants to, to try and offer him something in at this kind of range. He's working the body well, just stepping around him. Oh, just caught a stiff right hand there from Kramer. Best punch of the fight landed for him so far. Just needs to be careful. Great body shots. Working with the same hand there. Hook off the jab hand and then just work the other flank with the right, does so again and then chops upstairs. Constantly changing the levels up and down. It's exhausting to, to fight knowing you can't really land clean and he's going to hit you from pretty much wherever he wants with pretty much whatever he wants. As evidence there with a lovely little lead screw shot. Great body shot again now. Switches off a bit too, yeah. So confident, isn't he? really is with Darren Barker rejoins us at the, the commentary desk and Janae Bostan has put on an absolute masterclass the last two or three rounds and even off doing a couple of bits for, for the zone so I won't ask you what you're making of it what, so what, what I will say is Peter Kramer's face <laughs> tells the story tells the story <laughs> yeah it does it's been absolutely sensational <laughs> Darren, we've missed you, mate. I've had, to put, I've had to put the shift in now when you've been gone. Oh, he's hard work, Chris, isn't he? It's the most I've ever been out speaking in about seven years. <laughs> he's much easier than you are. Most star, Chris. <laughs> well, that's the first time I've seen him remotely breathing in a contest so far. We're heading into the seventh round, which will be the furthest that he's gone so far. Quarters, 10 seconds. Second seconds He hasn't budged so Round far. Seven. And how entertaining to watch Janae Bostad has been so far. Into round seven we go. If you can name a punch from either stance, he's thrown it and he's landed it. In the first six. From what I've seen of Kramer in the past and seen him with some of our lads, if you allow him to get into a rhythm, he can be a difficult fighter to face. And from what I'm hearing, it doesn't seem like Janae's giving him any opportunities whatsoever. Not breathing heavy at all. See him in the corner there, he was talking, listening to Grant Smith. 
even though he's in uncharted territory as far as rounds are concerned. Very bright future for this young man. as Kramer just dropped the, the right hand and he shook his head but he did feel it and his legs just starting to betray him a little bit there as Bostan just touching him with that right hand lead from Southport left off the cut left foot round the side of the goal oh, Kramer starts to reach here left hand landed and the legs really went the referee having a good look at Kramer and he's absolutely right to step in there and what a finish from Janae Bostan Well, I missed a big part of that fight, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad I didn't miss the finish, because that was impressive. A very, very good work there from, from the referee. He just kept a, an eye on Kramer because he was rocking and rolling and probably one or two shots away from being badly hurt there. And Janae Bostan knew it too. He gets another round in the bank. He's completed seven thus far. That takes his total, I think, to 26 overall with five straight stoppages in his first five. The perfect balance between getting the mileage in and the experience with some good opponents and stopping all of them in the process, Galau. Yeah, and we forget he's only 20 years old as well. Um, he had a, it was a brilliant performance, good stoppage, um, good experience as well with seven rounds he did there. Um, so yeah, it's perfect really. If I, was, if I were to knock someone out, it's good that he did it in the seventh round, not in the second or third round. And you can see what getting the stoppage meant to Janaid as well. You can see him, he, he was celebrating the fact that I think he stopped Kramer. You see it. He's over the moon. He wanted to go 5-5-5 five, 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 and he's done just that. And if you'd seen what the stick Kramer's taken the last three or four rounds, the fact that he's protesting says a lot about him as a man, as a fighter too. He wanted to carry on there even though he really was moments from, from being finished. The fair play to him for sticking around as long as he did, but it was only one winner from start to finish in that contest. A brilliant clinic and the icing on the cake for Janae Boston. A set round stoppage. Formalities to be read out by David Diamante shortly before we see the professional debut of Aaron Bowen up against 5 4 Frenchman Matthew Gomez. The main card to start live on the zone. 53 minutes time. Here's David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kieran McCann calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 30 seconds of round number seven. Your winner by TKO. He's still undefeated, and the knockout streak continues. Junaid Bustan. The knockout streak continues, but actually it isn't the most important thing. Everything else that led to that point. You're a boxing fan and you know what you